dictionary definition of feminism. The advocacy of women's rights on the grounds of the equality of the sexes. This is the go-to statement for all feminists. It is what they consider to be the slapdown winning card of the game, uh, as if just by repeating it they have demolished all arguments against feminism and show that their opponent is both ignorant and sexist. But the statement itself is unintentionally engineered to be biased, not balanced. It doesn't advocate for equality at all, at all, but for extra privileges. The advocacy of women's rights equal to those of men. It says nothing about the advocacy of men's rights equal to those of women. But feminists will tell you that if women's rights are made equal, then by that definition the men will automatically be equal. Only men and women aren't equal. I mean, it's just, it's silly and childish to imagine that we are, or that we're always going to be. People are just, there are so many divisions and strata all, throughout all cultures and creeds that it is insane to think that we are going to one day achieve total equality. What we can do is have the same rules and regulations and responsibilities for everyone. That's the best we can hope for. And where men are on the lower slope when it comes to rights and legality, feminists are doing zero to redress the balance. There is no movement anywhere from any feminist organisation that is doing anything to reduce women's rights and legality down to the levels of men where men have it considerably worse or are treated unfairly. Feminism only wants to increase their own stand standard standing while at the same time remaining defiant when showing that men clearly suffer lower standards and treatment in many areas of our society and civilization. Think of a uh, jagged line drawn on a piece of paper going up and down at sharp angles. Every point where the line turns either up or down is a higher low point for the rights of men. Now imagine a second line on top of it with a slightly different set of peaks and troughs, high and low points, this time representing women's rights. Feminism seeks to increase the peaks of their own that are lower than the men's peaks, but will do nothing to raise the low points for the men. They will also they will also not reduce their own high points down to any corresponding low points that men have. But feminism does seem to go, seeks to go one step further. It, it is not happy with women's high points matching men. It genuinely wants to supersede them. It wants all of the high points of men. It wants to ignore all the low points that men deal with. And if they can, they would like to have their high points higher than anyone's. Feminists and f feminism want their peaks to be the, the, the highest that can be achieved, they want to be superior. They've also managed to introduce many new peaks that men do not have represented on this chart and they want to be solely able to use these new rights. They want that as their greatest privilege. And whenever a feminist on the the dictionary definition of feminism, whenever a feminist makes this claim, challenge them to show you what legal and economic rights that a man has, but a woman doesn't. Ask them to show you the actual laws stating that their claims are accurate. I can bet you that you won't hear a thing back from the claimant. The topic will be swiftly changed to a nebulous or abstract claim that cannot be proved using other than anything, anything other than anecdotal evidence and hearsay and facts that can be checked or just things they're repeating from other blogs. If feminists actually had this proof, they could walk down and slam dunk any opponent in a debate in seconds, but there's a reason you haven't heard about it happening. Because women already have equality in our western world. If these things existed, the things that we have, like pay gaps and things like that, if we have laws preventing it, and if they really did exist, then employers and these these laws were being shut down. They would be the first line of argument for feminism, but you never ever hear of these laws because they don't exist. And feminists will skip the humanity, humanist or egalitarian question like it's a cancer. 
They won't even engage in discussion about it. They'll say, this says everything you need to know. Anyone truly making efforts to have a world equal in rights and laws for all would be a hu humanist or egalitarian before they would even consider feminism. They wouldn't even consider feminism any more than they would consider the men's rights movement, the uh, men's rights activists. That's it's backwards, it's, let's fix this little pocket and ignore everybody else and then when this little pocket is fixed we'll just keep ignoring everybody else because we've got what we want. Feminism is a cult, um, a modern cult of female supremacy using bullying and shame tactics and belligerent shouting to get their way. In short, feminism is modern society's spoiled brat of a child, stamping its feet in order to get whatever it wants, whenever it wants and blaming everyone else for anything and everything that has happened that it doesn't like. It's a whiny baby. Right, I'm done.